Hey everybody, it's Melissa. I got too excited and I already unboxed the Lalabo fragrance that I got. So I ordered another 13 because honestly, I remember trying this fragrance and it's right here. I remember trying this fragrance on my skin maybe a couple years back and I really enjoyed it. But since that time, I've never been able to get my hands on a full-size bottle of it. So I decided to order it recently. Um, and I already sprayed this here on my wrist. I did one spray of it. And I literally sprayed it, what, like five seconds before I started recording this video. So it's very fresh on my skin right now. But I'll put the link for where I got another 13 pinned in the comment section. It's also going to be in the description box in case you want to check it out, compare prices. Um, and the last thing I just want y'all to know is that the fragrance sale I was telling y'all about is live right now. It's going to be ending tomorrow on November 17th on Sunday. Okay, so those, like, the link there has the fragrances that y'all have been basically asking for on discount. I like stuff like Angel Share, Vallejo, there's Creed's on there. There's more designer fragrances. There's niche fragrances. So it's just like a quick, like, thank you to y'all for, like, the support and stuff like that. But just know... That link, it's an affiliate link, so at the end of the day, buy where you feel the most comfortable. But now on to another 13. Just my initial impression right now of how it's going. And this is an EDP concentration. It's just clean, minimalistic, lovable. This is, to me, a great signature scent fragrance. Just point blank, period. I think if you wear something like another 13 by Lalabo, it smells very put together. It will work very well in a professional setting. At the same time, this also will work very well in just casual wear. Like if you're just in a regular t-shirt and jeans or pants or shorts, whatever it is, and you smell like this, there is a luxurious sort of feel to it, a luxurious sort of vibe. And it's a little bit reminiscent to another by Reto fragrance, that the name is slipping my mind. It's not Mojave Ghost, but if you watched, if you watched the video where I did the unboxing of the two Byretos, I, I can't believe I'm slipping on the name of it. The one where I said it kind of smells like a, a clean hotel lobby. <clears throat> it's a little similar, like another 13 and that Byretto fragrance have similarities, but I like this one much better. I just think that to me, that Byretto fragrance, like I said, smells more like airport lounge, expensive hotel lobby. But this one smells like, like it would, it just like that fragrance smells like those environments. But this, just like on a person, I, I on a person, just smells. It smells good. I gosh, I, hold on. Let me let me rephrase that. <clears throat> I basically don't want to smell like a place. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want someone to smell me and be like, oh, I smelled that at like the Ritz lobby. You know, like when you're just in, there's a difference between wanting a space to smell good and wanting you as an individual to smell good. And that's why I like another 13 better. Just because yes, it smells luxurious. Yes, it smells upscale. Like as, but you think of a person, you don't think of a place. I hope that's, I hope that's making sense. Like you don't think of a room, you know? Um, it could be, I mean, I could see this used in a diffuser and just it smelling great, but I'm just imagining this kind of like as an intimately worn fragrance. Maybe you're having a candlelight dinner with somebody um, or you give somebody a hug, right? And it's nighttime and they're just smelling this wafting off of you. And I don't think this is a fragrance. I'm actually going to wear it as my scent of the day. I'm only going to rock with three right now because... I don't think this is a fragrance that needs to be super loud. Now, again, I'm going to give you a full review later on just to kind of tell you all how this develops throughout the day, the wear time of it, the noticeability of it. My prediction of it is it's going to be wafting in and out, right? There's going to be moments where I'm nose blind to it that I think it's no longer on me. And later on in the day, I catch a whiff of it. That's just the norm that I get regardless of the fragrance that I'm wearing. So with another 13, I think fragrances like this that have a very simplistic vibe, when it's done in a, uh, I feel like if it's oversprayed, it 
doesn't work too much. This isn't the type of fragrance you wear when you're trying to get attention or you're trying to have a neck breaker and you're trying to get, you know, like fish for compliments in that way. I think that this fragrance naturally will get compliments because it's just that lovable. Um, and people will gravitate to a smell like this when they smell it in your personal space. But yeah, I, I would not go like all over with another 13. It, I just think it would come across too desperate. But again, different strokes, all right? Like that's honestly kind of how I feel in general with fragrances. I don't tend to overspray them. I think before, maybe with weaker ones, you guys have seen videos where I were I was spraying more of them. But as I've kind of gotten older, I feel like I only want my fragrances to be noticeable to people that I want to get close to, right? Like if we're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, I'm trying to get closer, then you could smell me, right? I don't need it to be something that I enter a room and it fills the room and it's so loud and everyone smells it because just based on my experience, the reactions that you get from people typically, like when I've been in those spaces where someone has oversprayed these fragrances and you're in a small area people don't really like that they don't appreciate it kind of comes across insecure and like you're trying you're too desperate for attention because you don't have something of your own to kind of hold you over you know what i'm saying so it's like they use a fragrance to compensate in that way um whereas to me i think it should be more of a cherry on top right you're an amazing person you smell fantastic and it just it's just an attractive thing to add the cherry on top and not to make it your whole entire cake, right? But another 13 is just perfect in that regard because it's a fragrance that will just elevate whatever, like just elevate you point blank period. So if you're somebody that is wearing this in a luxurious bougie setting, let's say you're going to a gala or maybe like a black tie event, a wedding, you wear another 13, you're gonna smell fantastic. Just clean, put together, sophisticated right you wear this fragrance and you're in jeans and a t-shirt or even you're in sweatpants whatever it still smells like you're just clean and that's a very attractive thing i don't have a problem with wearing fresh clean fragrances on a daily basis regardless of seasons um everyone has their own different opinions with that some people are like no you can only wear freshies when it's hot outside or whatever but to me, there's nothing wrong with smelling clean 24 seven. Like, you know, people shower on a daily basis and it'd be weird if someone was like, oh, you smell clean. Like, I wouldn't want to fuck with somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? That's grossed out with someone smelling clean and fresh. It's just weird to me. But if you want to talk who I see wearing this fragrance, I do find it to be very gender neutral. I don't think that it leans feminine. I don't think that it leans masculine. Anybody can truly wear this fragrance and smell fantastic. As far as the age that I see with it, I mean, I have I have smelled this on other people. I'm in my late 20s myself, so that's the first thing that comes to my mind. But yeah, I, I could see this on somebody in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, however, in their 20s. Um, I do know that a lot of teenagers have been uh, into niche fragrances as of lately. Um, because of the popularity on apps like TikTok and Instagram. So if you want to give it a try, go for it. Um, just see if you like it. I know the price point is the main thing that stops people from wanting to get this fragrance, and that's totally a valid reason. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, it's a thousand percent worth it. I think that I can't dictate that for you. If you see the price tag and it makes you cringe, then... You know, don't buy something that is not in the budget. I would say sample it first, get a little vial of it. Or if you live close to a Nordstrom, maybe a Neiman Marcus, a Bloomingdale's, I believe they have another 13 by Lalabo where you can actually test it on your own skin. So that's always my word of advice. Test these things for yourself, either for free or with a sample. And then if you really like it, if you really, really like it, save for it, get yourself a bottle on a sale, right? Like, and I do my best to tell y'all whenever there's fragrance sales happening. So if you keep up with me in that regard, I got your back with it. Um, but if you see a price that you really like for it somewhere else, you go do that as well. But 
yeah, I, I'm I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, it's a thousand percent blind buy worthy. It's it's yada 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 because I know the price tag is the main thing that stops people from wanting these things. If you look at the price and you think you're like, okay, that's that's doable for me or that's that's not a problem for me, and you like what I said about it, just clean like smelling clean, then I think it's gonna be worth it for you. But I do think. If you're somebody looking to build your collection, because I'm smelling this wafting off of me right now, and I gotta tell y'all, it smells really, really good. I do see this being a compliment getting fragrance, truly, especially with the holiday season coming up. You know, people are having a lot of get togethers. You're gonna be having a lot of gatherings. And in my opinion, the last thing you want is, let's just say Thanksgiving, because it's coming up, right? The last thing you want is your fragrance competing with the aroma of all the food around you, right? You've got the mac and cheese, you got the the turkey, you got the greens, whatever it is there. You don't want a super loud, obnoxious fragrance that maybe you saw in a video that it's gonna be a compliment getter, right? But it might be a more of a clubbing fragrance, but you're smelling your oud, vanillic fragrance, rose fragrance mixed with like the turkey, people are gonna get pissed off, right? So to me, a fragrance like another 13. Again, that's going to be noticeable when people are close enough to you. That's not going to piss people off because it's competing with the aroma of the food. This is great for those situations. I do think this works well fall and winter. Like I said, I think all seasons you can wear a clean fragrance like this. But I do believe that this is the type of fragrance, if you wore it in the summertime, it could get cloying. Because there is a touch of sweetness to the scent. And again, I don't know the note breakdown of this fragrance. I, I don't like looking at that ahead of time before I make videos for y'all. Because I want to just tell you straight up what it's reminiscent of. And I don't want to have any sort of bias with that. But it's, um, oh my gosh, I just lost my train of thought of what I was talking about. Overall, I think it's com it would be a compliment getting fragrance. Um, and I just think that... If you're somebody that's looking to build your collection and you want high quality, just like, you're not looking to have a lot of fragrances, you're looking to have a strong set, like whether it's three, five, ten, one, I can, I can assure you that this is the type of fragrance that you would be happy having in your collection, okay? This is something that people in the real world would fuck with when you wear it. When they smell this on you, they are going to like it. The internet's opinion might be different. That's just something that I want y'all to keep in mind. When you're watching videos, when you're reading comments and looking at what people on the internet say in the fragrance community, the it doesn't reflect reality, right? This is a fragrance that will do well in the real world, but it might be something that gets skewed online or skewered online because people are like oh it's it's there's nothing special about it that's typically the thing you hear if it's not complex enough if it's simple then it's boring right everybody wears it that's the you know what i'm saying that's the the sort of talk you hear about it but again if you're having a collection you're looking for a versatile signature scent that's gonna smell lovely on you basically no matter what you're wearing no matter what the vibe or the occasion is besides a hot summer day then I think rolling with something like another 13, it won't let you down. But again, try things for yourself. See if you like it. Um, but this is a strong fragrance to have in your collection. I'll let you know in a future video how the performance goes overall in that sort of strength. But this has been my favorite Lalabo fragrance that I've tried. I, I do have Santal 33. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, if you like sandalwood... You might like that fragrance. It, it does dry down a little bit better. I see why people like it. I think it's the more daring between another 13 and that one. Um, but I just, I just like this fragrance. It's easy to gravitate to. It's a, it's a dumb reach sort of scent. You're like, shoot, what should I throw on? Oh, I know if I wear another 13, I'm going to be good to go. All right. So again, let me know if you've tried this fragrance, your, your thoughts in the comment section below. The last thing I do want to just say to add to this scent though is the importance of trying things on your own skin because skin chemistry is a big thing, which kind of takes me back to making sure you sample things. But I know watching videos, it's 
it's fun and stuff, but people's skin chemistry is very different. So you might have someone say that this is a garbage fragrance, but it just smells bad on them, right? You have other people that only wear things on clothes and it smells a certain way on them and whatever. So always, always test on your own skin, please. There's one thing I want you to take away from this video. It's that, okay? And again, link for the fragrance on the discount site pinned in the comment section below along with the current fragrance sale that's happening with niche and designer fragrances that's going to be ending tomorrow november 17th okay i hope y'all have a great day let me know your thoughts on another 13 and i'll see you in the next video take care